Hey everybody, this is Bill Cladis, and thanks for watching 3dmotive.com. Today we're continuing with our second volume in advanced materials inside of UDK. Let's take a quick look at some of the cool things we'll be learning to make. In this first part, we're going to be talking about a water material that can automatically and dynamically update itself based on object intersection. So as you can see here, as the water flows and intersects with our rock mesh, it's transitioning to a different normal map and some foam. What's really cool about this is this is automatic. So as I move the mesh down, we can see that it's hugging the contours automatically. In the second part, we're going to be learning how to make a lava material, and we're also going to be learning how to use world position offset to get the mesh on the lava to oscillate and move up and down like it has some waviness to it. And for the final part, we're going to be talking about object orientation based transitions. What we have here is an ice material that has snow dusting on the top. But what happens here is that no matter how we rotate it, we can see that the snow always stays on top. This is all based through some information inside the material and object orientation. So we're assuming that you're following us from our first volume, and hopefully you have some knowledge inside the material editor inside of UDK. And hopefully you have knowledge inside of an image editing program like Photoshop. So with all that said, let's go ahead and get started.